Close to it. <laughs> we'll be telling everybody right. about it when it happens, well, that's close, for sure. Close to the 15-minute limit. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> if you take a spin near the National Mall today, check out all the kids. There are hundreds gathered for the world's children's festival. It's several blocks of art, dancing, culture, and tradition from all over the universe. And our own, own Holly Morris has found a rather unique American tradition, Legos, <laughs> like we've never seen them before. You know, before we went to the commercial break, you showed us that, that wide shot. I can't imagine how many people it took and how long it took to put that thing together. You know, it might not have taken as long as you think. They're pretty quick at putting this together. It's very impressive. In fact, I think it was two million Legos and they did it in like three days. I mean, it doesn't take them very long at all, but it's really fun to be down here and pick out all the landmarks. But before we get to all that, we want to talk about why this is here. It is just one part of a huge festival that's going on, the World Children's Festival, the largest celebration of children's creativity in the world. I absolutely love that. Can't say it enough. Dr. Afshak Ishak is the founder and executive director of International Child Art Foundation which is putting this whole thing on. He joins me. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. And give people an idea of what really is going on with this whole festival. Yeah, you see, uh, you know, um, we would all love for children to lead us into a more just, prosperous, and a better world, you know, and a more sort of non-violent world. The issue is how do we go about doing that, you know, precisely. For the past 10 years, the International Child Art Foundation has been uh, harnessing children's imagination for positive social change. So, you know, because w uh, maybe an, a, an easy way to say that as we are watching the kids here work yes. and create, and we have kids from all over, literally the world that are coming together, is that you all really believe that art is the universal language. It that, is. That these kids don't have to speak the same language, but they can create together. Absolutely. And what, what happens when they, when they co-create is the development of empathy. So they start not only that they are creative, but they, are, they become empathetic and understanding of each other. So you teach that at a young age, then you hope they grow up. These are going to be our leaders of the future, and that's already their mindset. It's ingrained in them. Absolutely, because these are some of the most creative and imaginative children in the world. As and, and, you can see. Right. And I literally, when, when you say that, you're not saying that lightly. There's 51 uh, countries that are represented by some 100 children, and they are all winners of the Art Olympiad. Quickly explain to me what the Art Olympiad is. Yeah, it's a, it's a four-year, you know, program that we, that we do. It is almost like the Olympics, but for the arts and for the, for the children. And uh, 3 million children in about 100 countries, you know, uh, participated. So what you have over here are the winners. So winners from every U.S. state and from 51 you know, countries Amazing. around the world. Well, one of the things that's the biggest off factor, Doctor, thank you so much for coming out, is this nation. Create a nation. It's made of Legos. And to kind of give you an idea, I, I made my way specifically to this point because here's what it looks like on ground. Now take a look at it overhead. If you take a look at that, you will see that I am standing as close as I can near Cincinnati because that's my home from where I came and I saw the University of Cincinnati right down there that's a landmark that I was easily able to pick out and if you come back down here now I'm gonna check in with Nathan because he's our master Lego builder and one of the men responsible for all of this good morning to you so good tell morning. me about this so cool well, this is creation nation this is a celebration of creativity we had kids from all over building the past uh, couple days and we've completed an entire map of the US and so really, it literally was something you put together in three days. And so how do they go about picking what they're going to put on the map? I mean, there's some pretty iconic things. You know, we sure. have the Statue of Liberty. You got the St. Louis Arch. You got the Space Needle in Washington. Exactly. I mean, as you go across the nation, you can kind of see it. But what are some of the things that the kids put on here that kind of surprise you? Well, it was great. I was surprised at how much the families were working together to create larger creations, such as like a huge railroad track over in the west there or a... a the St. Louis Arch, you know, these are groups of families coming together to create something. They're the builders of tomorrow here, building a creation nation. Now, you uh, were not always a builder. I understand you were an attorney. That's right. I and used you to be left an all that legal world to come do Legos? Exactly. I'm a Lego artist now, full time, and it's a great job because I get to create all day. And so, wh what would you add to this map? Well, I was fortunate enough to add uh, a couple things already. I did the Statue of Liberty and the uh, Sears Tower over there, some of the bigger stuff. But it's really about the kids coming out and building whatever they want. Okay, does anybody have anything to add to the map? What are we working on over here? What are you building? Um, I'm building a tower. A tower? And where are you going to put the tower? I don't know. You Just don't know? Wherever. Somewhere you want to move someday and call home, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> maybe? All right. Hey, listen, this is going on all day today. It's the last day of the World's Children's Festival. Oh, I think we got one more we want to get in. What do you got down here? Uh, it's a 
Like a little tower, too. A little tower, too, that you're going to put where? Do you know? Uh, somewhere down there. Okay, and I just want to, before I go, I want to show this hand. Put this down. Oh, yeah. I'm if already. this is not a creative hand, I don't know what is. We're going to have more young artists coming up in our next hour. Back to you. And what a great smile, too. <laughs> Love it. All right. See that you later, cool. Holly. Isn't that neat? That it really is. When they really took that is. shot of the United States yeah. up there, that but, was so neat. Well, then the close-up with the buildings and stuff, yeah. that's really, really it's cool. Three-dimensional. That was impressive. Love Very it. good. Speaking of a creative hand, now I gave you a little grief a few minutes ago.